Hi guys, my name is Mohamed Iqbal. I am from the Department of Information uh, Computer Applications, uh, Jamal Mohamed College, Trichy. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important topic, which is Google's Call App. And here, I am going to uh, give you a hands-on demo based on this. So, if you want to search the Call App, you just type Call App. Uh, dot research dot google dot com so you can see here welcome to collab collaborate click this and it will directly move on to the collab uh, website so already I have entered into the uh, website and I have logged in so if you don't uh, log in and uh, if it is the first time it would not show like this so you can see in the uh, right side of the corner you can uh, you can able to see the uh, this particular icon so here you would see the sign in option so if you want to create a python based applications you can able to do it so uh, let me give you some idea about the collab uh, the collab is a free notebook environment that runs entirely in the cloud it lets you and your team members to edit uh, documents as like a word document uh, you can able to do it and the Collab supports many popular machine learning uh, libraries which can be easily loaded in your notebook. And uh, this tutorial has been prepared for the beginners to help them understand the basic advanced uh, concepts related to Collab, uh, Google Collab. And it has offering many more features. Uh, it can be able to uh, write and execute the Python code and uh, the document your code that supports mathematical equations and it can able you can able to do the creation uploading and share notebook things and also you can able to import and save notebooks from your google drive uh, github and uh, uh, github gist so i'll i'll make you show show that you can uh, able to uh, see it all so there is a file menu in here there is a task uh, menu here you can able to see file, edit, view, insert, runtime, tools, help and here you can able to see the plus code and te text and copy to drive and connect to and editing options and uh, also in the left side of the corner the ta table of contents also available and uh, being the first time you would see this and you can able to click on and you can see all those things and what is collab it is a uh, basic things they will be giving and uh, python is a very effective language and it is very easy to learn and uh, code so uh, the ids are very important to uh, learn a code so this collab would be very helpful for you without the internet without the internet it can't be possible and uh, we no need to download the python interpreter and the ids simply we need to we need to have the chrome browser and as well uh, we need to have the internet with the help of it you can uh, code any types of python code so let's see in the file menu you can see the new notebook open notebook upload notebook save a copy in uh, drive save a copy in github gist and save a copy in github so you can able to uh, save all those things and you can able to create a new notebook by click on, clicking on this you can see as you can see you uh, you would uh, see the development environment you can able to see the uh, development environment you can change the name as uh, sample and if you enter it will automatically save in the drive and also you can able to save a copy in drive or automatically this code would be saved in your drive and see here you can able to add the code here the python code which can be applied here like i am typing apple as a variable and i am creating this particular one and i am typing my uh, under the double quotations i am typing my name and also i am giving some other values here so i am printing the apple comma i so if i click this 
play button it would automatically run the code and it would provide the output down below and also if you want to add a new code and if you want to add a code in a next line or a next paragraph like that so you can just click this code button and you can see on the next uh, down uh, next uh, window down below and also you can able to add a text by clicking uh, by like uh, giving a title to the code so by clicking like this so sample it would directly show you the output like this and you can ch change and shuffle the code uh, the title of the code to anywhere else you want and also you can delete anywhere uh, anytime anywhere like this and uh, if you are clicking this and you want to comment a particular code and a particular uh, line of code here you can comment something based on that so just I am telling sample python code here so I can able to see the code has been here so you can able to see what all the additional information you can able to give to the code so that is also possible in the edit menu you can see the undo move cell so it is like control z so control z will not work here but instead of that you can click control plus mz, mz so with the help of it you can use and the select all cells which means that if i click select all cells all the cells will be uh, selected and you can able to run a particular cell or a collection of cells that is also possible and in edit edit cells all the information which we are doing in the word document that is also possible in this uh, collab and in notebook settings you can see here uh, with the help of uh, notebook settings you can able to accelerate your hardware uh, not your hardware actually cloud based hardware uh, by clicking uh, gpu or tpu you can also save that uh, if you are working with a uh, complex or a hot process you can able to do it here and in the view menu you can able to see the table of contents which is here and in the table of contents some more options are available and in the sections you can make the sections as section 1 section 2 kind of a thing so I am creating a section I am coding it and again and again it will save like that and in the second menu you can add a form if I click the form it would automatically derive the codes and it would show you the output too and in the second uh, capture uh, camera still I am not using the camera so which is not visible so automatically it will, uh, it will imp uh, import all the uh, needed uh, libraries to the uh, code and it would automatically compile and in the cross communication and uh, display javascript execute things and uh, download files uh, for uh, impo or importing data sets also you can see without clicking it just clicking it you can see the codes what are what are the codes are here you can change it to and in the third one what are all the uh, if i click this you can see apple is a variable name and it has the type name as string and it has eight characters all the details would be shown here this itself it is very useful and in the last menu you can uh, uh, create based on uh, some sample uh, you can check with the sample uh, data sets with the CV csv files if i double tap it you can see in the right side of the corner uh, which shows that uh, what is stored in the data set uh, it is a sample data set which is a trained data set also uh, we have the training data set so we can able to do it here this is for an example to work with the data sets and in the right side uh, in top of this uh, three things you can uh, upload and you can mounting with the google uh, drive too you can able to connect with the uh, drive and you can get the data sets from that too and that is possible and in the insert runtime you can run a particular code deleting all those things this time I'm keeping this code only so if I am typing another code if I want to type another code I can type like this and here like I am clicking college 
I'm just typing anything you want. So I can give a values like this. So again, college, which is also possible. So we can store the variables value for the same variable name. We can store multiple variable variables, multiple types of variables. Uh, in the python that is one of the advantage of python so we i am printing the college so lastly what you have described would be displayed and if you want to display this one too and here also you can type print college so that is one of uh, great advantage of python so if I want to uh, print, uh, I want to run both the things simultaneously, di directly go to the runtime and click run all, uh, suddenly both the things will be compiled and run immediately and you can do all those things based on and if you are running uh, multiple operations you can interrupt and you can restart the runtime and uh, restart and runtime also uh, run all those things are possible here. and. Uh, you can manage the sessions and you can view runtime view log, uh, logs by clicking that and you can see here what all the things were done and what all the things we were doing for uh, the past uh, during this video you can see here so all the things which we do here will be shown here in the tools menu you can see the command palette which, which can be able to uh, we no need to type uh, all the codes often is simply add any one of the code here as we like so we have so many options are here uh, some shortcuts are so available so you can able to use it with the help of it and if you know the shortcuts you can it is very easy to use so uh, the control in the uh, edit menu if you go and uh, see this uh, the undo and redo it is not possible as like in the word document it is control z control y uh, we cannot use it here instead of that we can use the control mz which is popular which is used to uh, do the uh, do undo and redo operations and also uh, you can able to see the ram and the disk uh, how the how many things are occupied so here you can see the ram out of uh, 12 gb how many how much is occupied and uh, out of the disk space how much is occupied uh, as you can see too so i hope you would have understand this video and some of the ideas would be you would get and it is very uh, easy to understand the collab and uh, if you like the video uh, just share to your friends who are uh, need of uh, to learn python and the uh, collab and thanks for watching my video